In order to monitor your student's course progress and completion status, you'll need to define exactly what completion means for your course. This step must be completed before your students begin interacting with your course, since there are several possible ways to define course completion. To get started, from the main page of your course, click the gear icon at the upper right and select Course Completion from the menu that appears. As you can see, there are several different ways of defining course completion. First, you'll need to specify whether the course is complete when all or any of the selected conditions are met. This setting is extremely important when you have selected more than one completion criteria. Let's look at each of the available completion conditions. Activity completion allows you to define course completion based on the successful completion of one or more activities in your course. Simply check off the activities you want to require your students to complete. You can also select whether all or any of the selected activities must be completed. You can also require students to complete other courses first. This is a good method of defining prerequisites for your course. Again, you can select whether all or any of the selected courses must be completed. Successful completion of your course can also be assigned to a specific date. or to a specific number of days of enrollment. Course completion can even be defined in the event the student is unenrolled from the course. If your course will be using an overall grading system, course completion can be defined based on whether a student reaches or exceeds a specified grade level. You can also trigger course completion when a student manually checks the self-completion block. Note that the self-completion block must be added to your course if this condition is set. Finally, you can require check-off approval by instructors, local administrators, teaching assistants, and or instructional support staff. Once you have finished selecting the completion conditions for your course, click the Save Changes button at the bottom. Now your course is ready to start tracking completions.